So a few weeks ago, I picked up the new GoPro Hero 7. Now, I've already done an unboxing of that, so if you want to check that out, you can click up there, wherever it is. Anyway, I use the GoPro cameras on nearly every adventure that we go on. Last year, I picked up a gimbal to pair up with my GoPro Hero 6, and while it worked great, it was just another piece of equipment to keep up with something else to break if I crash and just something else to keep charged. It was fine, but I'm always on the hunt to find new technology that makes my video creating easier and better. Enter GoPro Hero 7. GoPro is marketing this new camera as a gimbal killer. This is the gimbal killer. And if you don't really know what a gimbal is, Here's a 101 level explanation of the two ways that you can stabilize shaky video footage without using too much post-processing. So number one is going to be a gimbal. It physically holds the camera steady, no matter which way you move your hand or shake it around or anything like that. It does it with gyroscopic accelerometerizing demon magic, though it's more complex than we're going to get into in this particular video. The next way is in-camera stabilization. So the software on the inside of the GoPro takes the shaky footage, it analyzes it, applies a rotate and perspective effect on it, and then it scales the image to create a digitally stabilized image. So now I'm going to go outside and I'm gonna shoot four side-by-side, 10-second -side, clips and let you compare. In this video, we're comparing the stabilized Hero 6 and the stabilized Hero 7. Each clip is gonna be unedited and I'm not going to label which is which until the very end so that you can see the difference and make your own assumptions on which one's actually better or if it's that much better. Anyway, let's go. Let me know in the comments below if you could tell a difference and if you were right in which one you thought was which. In my opinion, there was indeed a clear winner, but a gimbal killer, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I'll be getting rid of my gimbal anytime soon. Uh, you know, the Hyper Smooth, the Hero 7, is a tool just like the gimbal is. I'm excited though to just be able to return the Hero 7 to the end of my ski pole or something like that, rather than having to ski with the gimbal on every time I go out, but time will tell. One thing that's impressive about the hyper smooth stabilization of the Hero 7 is going to be its ability to create a time warp time lapse. And if you want to see how that works and learn a few tips and tricks on how to shoot better time warp time lapse videos, click the link up in the top right corner. And if you found this video helpful, help me out and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next video.